Good day and welcome back to Coach Quick. In today's video, Zenon is going to go through his final preparations before a T20 match on the weekend. For this, we have split it into five different preparation phases. Each phase is going to isolate something and then at the end, we're going to see if we can link it all together. The first phase that we are going to do is we are going to just focus on the swing, making sure the batter's got a nice big swing, hitting through the line and trying to extend through the contact point all the way to the top. Someone's going to throw, the batter's just going to stand in a good solid base, their set position and allow their hands to work. This is to allow us to have the confidence to hit through the ball even if we don't have our feet moving. This just helps with watching the ball onto the bat and making sure that your hand-eye coordination is good. Something that all good cricketers need. Because sometimes in a game, you feel a bit rushed in your thought processes and then have to allow your hands to take over. The second phase we're going to look at is trying to link the weight transfer into it now as well. So the batter is going to be standing, front toe up, front leg straight, in a seated position, the foot slightly across, more to the offside. From here, the throw is going to throw, hopefully keeping it full, but even if it's short, it doesn't matter. The batter is going to put the toes down, bend the knee, and use that weight transfer with the swing and hit through the ball. This is to try and help us get into a good position for our contact point and to allow our hands to go through that line and make a strong connection through the ball and hopefully get the ball to the boundary. Because at the end of the day, the more runs we can get per ball, the easier it is to win a T20 game. Phase three of this is now we are going to move as well. We're going to look to play attacking cricket shots without the fence, but moving into the positions, allowing that weight transfer from the previous draw to connect with the swing from the first draw and going through all of that. Trying to build confidence by moving towards the ball and still striking it sweetly, and not determining the line before you've hit it, but from where the throw is going. Before we get to phase four, I'd like to remind you guys that we do have membership tiers. Becoming a member helps this channel grow, and at the same time, there are some perks for all of you. For phase four, we are going to be looking at our strike rotation options, especially for a top of the order batter in a T20. This is important because statistically speaking, the team that faces the fewest dots in a T20 will win that game. The three areas we're going to be looking at is to square leg or just behind, to cover point nice and close to the batter, or down to third man. We have covered this in a previous video. Please look at the video up here. The goal of this is to try and really focus on that strike rotation, to try not to have any dots within the set, but also not try to force a boundary when it is not there. For the final phase, we are now going to be looking at extending our range as a batter and doing some range hitting. Each batter is going to have a couple of areas where they can focus on. You are going to try and isolate two of those areas and focus on hitting boundaries in the air there. You can obviously hit boundaries in other areas if it's not quite in that area for you to hit over the top, right. but those are going to be more controlled options. The two options Zenon has chosen for today's video is he's looking to go over extra cover, quite straight, and also quite straight to a straightish cow area. Every now and then he might hit one and hit it dead straight, but that is still fine within the areas because he's looking to get forward and extend his hands through that point. The goal of this is to see how cleanly and how often you can hit the ball there. Because once we get into the game situation, if the ball is even close to pitching that area, you need to back yourself 100%. There cannot be any fear of failure. Because at the end of the day, in T20, strike rate is more important than average. And if you can have a good strike rate and do it consistently well, that's going to win games for your team. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like below. Also remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can get the content as soon as it releases. And if you want to see the video on how to hit over the top, check this video over here.